does not matter whether it's Eastern singing bowls or Western gospel music, doesn't matter if it's opera or jazz, doesn't matter if it's rock and roll. There's people that uh, talk badly about the stairway to heaven, the back masking, I've heard it, but yet there are people that find some freedom in all kinds of music. And if, uh, if we are on the path of love, all roads lead unto love. So welcome, and uh, it's time to share a real experience with Ben Carroll, who is a preacher in his own right, and he comes forth bringing his words. Uh, so blessed are all those wanting to uh, wanting peace. That's what we need most of all. Peace that will bless our world with a, a joy that long endures. And as our golden kingdom uh, age arises and the golden kingdom age is ahead, praise God, the prophet Joel said, it shall be as Eden ahead of us. And as that kingdom age of love's greatest transformation slowly arises, these will become most exciting days for all of us to start showing random kindness to one another. Uh, everyone who, who's loving the life that comes from peace must start becoming even more organized than fools who love warmongering ways of death. So it's unity of those who are of the house of love. So blessed are all those smart of heart who clearly see that knowledge without wisdom is, is just like water in the sand. So love from love to all sizes, hope from hope to all colors, peace from our living peace to all ages, and faith from our loving Lord of faith, uh, who is faith. And blessed mercy comes from mercy to all cultures, so may all sexes be welcomed, all beliefs, all religions, all types, all people. Let all people find growth happening at this channel by the sound of the vibration of love. For if we did not lift up love, the rocks would cry out because they are, too are vibrating and in motion, the electrons and the protons. And so in this hour, may uh, Ben says, may this new year uh, of 2022 uh, bring you a, a happy and fulfilling lifestyle in spite of the World War Z, in spite of the uh, trial of all flesh, because God is going to cut these days short to make a way where there has seemed to be no way. And uh, so uh, may you dare, Ben says, may you dare to take the paths you dream of adventuring down, or may you continue adventuring in health and abundance if you've already dared wandering away from the well-trodden, pre-marked roads of the unenthusiastic. For birds of a feather flock together, and you need people of passion if that is what you decide you want to be. So may, may uh, everyone coming uh, to this channel and to Ben's channel uh, listening to the beauty. May you live each day with no other goal other than to fill your souls with love and light. No other motivation than that of happiness for you and yours. May your world be one of healing, caring, loving, sharing, kindness, compassion, and overflowing grace, says Ben. So here comes the light. So blessed are the wise who build bridges far above the foolish who only build dams. And this means that all of our crooked walls between one another must be torn down. We must sink or swim together, and we got to be able to get along in the sandbox and to quit throwing sand. And so walls shall be torn down, exactly as Jeremiah 1.10 predicted. For within this blessed hour, uh, this is the blessed hour of love's greatest shining power, for in these latter days of the rising age of the Lion and the Lamb, uh, it's coming forth by love's heaven-sent understandings through people like Ben and myself, people just walking in the spirit of love, uh, condemning no people. 
the Lord God Almighty of every single person uh, ever born, he has declared in Jeremiah 1.10 that he would in these end days be tearing down all kingdoms of man's imaginations that are stopping us from looking through a glass darkly uh, anymore as it is foretold. For in the time of the uh, great sounding of the seventh trumpet, all nations become the Lord's, Revelation 10.7. And the trumpet sounds first because the first is last and the last is first. So uh, these are the days of Hebrews 8 prophecy of religion's obsolescence. Uh, and he said that when you hear the words, I will be your God from the Lord, saying, I will be your God, you will be my people. I will forgive your iniquity and never remember it again. In those days, uh, Paul wrote that all past faith would be obsolete. And in these days, these are the days of hope, days of revelation flowing down. You cannot restore all things, Matthew 17, 11, unless one has revelation of revelation. And these are also days of the great refiner's fire burning like a, a, a bright, brightest torch to make multitudes far better instead of much bitter uh, bitterness consuming them. Uh, and it'll turn around their curses because of their own good optimism and their trust within our Heavenly Father. So let the wise know that John the Revelator said that there would be a great multitude which no man could number in these latter days that would arise out of all nations, all kindreds and people and tongues. In Revelation 7 it swears that this will be and it will happen in the spirit of love, hope and peace for one and all. Uh, and uh, John the Beloved, he beheld billions of us standing before the great white throne and before that mercy seat of, of the Lord's unconditional forgiveness, John saw them all clothed in the whitest robes imaginable. So may blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our Lord God Almighty, the Lord God of all mankind. He is the Lord God of the Hindus, the Buddhists, and the Islamics. And he is the Lord of the Jews, the Christians, and every loving atheist or agnostic. So let all the Jehovah Witnesses look unto our beloved and let them walk side by side with Mormons and the Satanists and uh let all of them stop looking down upon one another no more. Let Hyperians arise with uh, <laughs> the Confucianism people. It doesn't matter. It, does, it has never mattered what we believe. What only is important is if we have our light of love on as a little child. That's what Christ said. And so in these days, we must stop looking down upon one another as, uh, as all of us learns the way of war no more. And for this reason, Mr. Ben Carroll, a great uh, gu guitar uh, teacher, I understand, he says that at this time right now, Everything is changing, and I, Daniel of Windsor, Ontario, Canada, I fully agree. Since millions all over this globe, from all faiths or none, millions of us have finally figured out beyond all shadow of a doubt that he who is the beloved, the blessed, and the adored, our, our Emmanuel returning, that he has always been the faithful, loving Lord of absolutely all people not committing the unforgivable sin. Uh, he is the Lord of all loving alcoholics, addicts, and prostitutes. And as Christ said, all sin has been forgiven, all of us, uh, all except the unforgivable sin of letting one's light of love to go right out within them, because that is God living within us. For those who love are born again and know him, know God, because he is love. 1 John 4, 7. And at the end of the day, the world's enlightened people like Ben Carroll, people like that, all, all clearly comes to see that our giver of life loves absolutely everyone exactly. Watch the uh, video, The Deathbed Confession of Anton LaVey. The Bible says, all calling upon the name of, of our beloved uh, shall be saved. 
His hand has never been too far to reach any of us. And so in these days, it, it, it's time that we come to understand that uh, the false god of this world is a respecter of men. He does have his favorites. He loves those, hates those. He loves those ones and all the rest got to go to hell forever and ever because they won't believe he's love. <laughs> it's, that, it's so ironic. But one thing is for sure, that it doesn't matter who we are. And it doesn't matter whether we're fat or skinny, pretty or ugly, good or bad, straight or gay. It just makes no difference at all to his unconditional love. And the word of God says, and there is no good man, no, not even one, Romans 3.10. So who are we to judge one another? So in these days, it doesn't matter whether someone is a lawyer or a criminal or wise or foolish. So Ben says, we are therefore living in a real exciting time of a great energetic spiritual shifting and a great mass awakening is in progress. And anyone can see this reflected in every aspect, any aspect of our society. And I agree with that. But he says, but this shifting of uh, itself is just an expansion of our awareness of who we are and the realization that we are all divine. And what a place of, uh, so that we can realize what place of authority that we hold within this universe. Nor is there any doubt whatsoever that this greater overall expansion of consciousness always brings with it a greater understanding and a greater awareness of the ways in which we've all been manipulated as well. And with that kind of awareness also comes great responsibility to choose how we'll re we will react to, to this knowledge and to one another. For truly, if we can't uh, love those whom we can see, we can never love uh, a God that we cannot see. And that is for sure. And so in this time, it's time to let the ri alarm ring. And uh, Ben also stresses that we need to understand the truth that if we act out in destructive ways, we choose paths of fear. Don't do it. So most blessed are all those discovering that the very best love is always the kind that awakens the soul and makes us reach for even more love. For love is not even love unless it is given away. And one thing is for sure, there is no darker darkness than the ignorance of love alone. So let us stop being ignorant towards one another. Let us join hands. And Ben also stresses that, that we all need to understand the, the truth that if we act out in destructive ways, we choose uh, by those actions paths of fear, anger, and destruction. Uh, but if we react with kindness and compassion instead, we come into a, an, uh, an alignment spiritually so we can finally become people of love that are moving forward as a verb, not ending up in the land of the walking dead where our love has just become a noun, having a form of godliness but denying the power of love whom God is. And in this time, we, we must see that we were all meant uh, to be more than what we are. And Ben says that he believes great good will come within, within these latter days of this great transformation. But it's up to all of us to, 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 make, uh, the, to make things good or bad. And he says, for one, he prefers the good. And I do too. And just as uh, I'm, I agree with him most, the vast majority of people would agree that good things are what we need to do. And when we intentionally come together to open up uh, and, and to embrace such changes of loving kindness towards one another, then we, we cause great beauty to come and take root within us. And then we become a mirror image of the lily of the valley, the rose of Sharon. And so let us all choose a glorious path and go forward together in the hope 
of a world at peace, a world without nuclear weaponry, a world where we will learn the ways of war no more, for we are all in this together. And this means that nobody really is alone, even though it seems like it many times, for we are in this all together which means that when we come together to intentionally work towards reaching a higher place within love's brightest light, in, in effect, we are bringing ourselves into an, an, a new alignment with a necessary path of amazing positive changes that will happen automatically like dominoes falling upon this planet. And that is why Ben says that he, he loves working with sound healing and with meditation because peacefulness can flow first in something like that before it gets a hold of us. So we need to react in good ways uh, as we choose to focus on the release of the fear of, of all turmoil. Uh, instead of buying into all of that garbage and per perpetuating it and the fear letting it fan uh, ugly within our hearts, making us unloving people. So let us all choose a path in the resonance of kindness, uh, uh, one that is born in light and in gratitude. And most blessed are all those of love who would rather be like a diamond with a flaw than like a pebble without one. For truly, truly, I say unto everyone, and Ben would agree, that it is our imperfections that really makes us beautiful. And we must embrace ourselves, even the shadow self, even the bad things we've done in this life. Not that we want to keep doing them, God forbid, but um, that even, even when we've chosen to do something bad, love still loves us. Love cannot do any other thing except. So until next time, keep it real, keep it powerful, keep it positive, and keep moving forward, for a flood of love is coming forth. I pity the poor fool who stands in the middle of a gorge with a flood of love, uh, with living water just coming through with all power. You could tell that flood of love to stop. It will not obey you. It will uproot all the trees of our past, uh, of the, the, the stagnant uh, trees of our, our cluttered up uh, valley of bad doctrines and off un misunderstood scriptures. And the truth is when at the end of the day, the only thing that matters is that we should let that flood of love uproot it all. Let's erase our childhood tapes as it was in the beginning. Let it be like that for us all as at the end. Let us all be as little children. And uh, then we can go to each other's door and say, Hey, let's play some games. <laughs> Take care and love from uh, love. Ciao.